So, before the video start, I just want to say that this is not a guide video to teach you how to do the capstone dungeon, like tier 3 to tier 4 boss. This is not a guide. Th in fact, I don't even recommend you to do this. This is super unpractical and I basically spend around like a million repair build just to make this work. Uh, because I just want to be this so I'm just gonna show you guys like a clip and uh, you might notice like this is in Chinese uh, but I, I will show you guys like in English all the gears I used to kill this boss and uh, just explain what I use and why do I use it. going to bri briefly talk about like what skill that I used like what like armor that I used like why do I use them uh, for the hellman uh, this is basically just whenever you are not healthy which is below 80% you will have like a bubble this is super strong pvp too like but uh, this basically just make you immune which is you see in the beginning of the video uh, that this proc so it'll allow me have like 4.5 second vulnerability. Uh, for the chest plate, uh, this is not really that important, I think, because this is this is really good whenever you are clearing dungeon. This is like a really really good sustain uh, to have, but it's not really like that important for this boss fight so particularly. And for this legendary aspect. And uh, remember this, the game doesn't really consider you are moving when you're using Shadow Step. So that's how I kind of dodging the abilities that the boss use. Uh, for the lag, this is really strong too. You basically just dodge the next 7 incoming attack. It's pretty strong. But unfortunately, this too doesn't stack. So what I'm trying to say is like, even if you are staying in the bubble, um, you, this seven attack still going to consume so it's pretty bad like these two are not really synergized well but uh, I basically just want as much protection as possible so for the boost um, this is really good because whenever you use like like other stuff like you, you use like for example your twisting blade and stuff this will make the enemy especially the boss build up the stun meter or whatever you want to call it is basically like a stamina and you slowly build up to it so this is really good to build up this so that this is how i do the uh the, the, the dungeon basically this is how i clear the dungeon because i can just using this and i can basically just perma stun the the, the elite and uh then like i will do my combo and after that i basically just use concealment and run away and the do and normal attack the ball uh, the the elite again uh, try to keep de daze them so daze is basically like a silence in other game you th they basically just cannot attack they, they are not stunned but they, they cannot attack so it's really useful against like elite especially like you're doing the capstone dungeon i guess um for the crossbow uh, like you have to put this in your crossbow the benefit of putting this twisting blade legendary aspect to like a two-handed weapon it's basically give you double the bonus and for the uh, amulet so it's basically just like a sustain you don't necessarily need this for the ring i have basically just the shadow clone also mimic 
your imbuement. Basically, what I'm using is poison imbuement. And uh, for the next ring, okay, if you are still not beating the the story, uh, this might be a spoiler, but you can get this from uh, defeating the final boss. And uh, this is not really that good, particularly from this boss for this boss. But I, I mean, I just don't really have another option. For my weapons, um, it this is really just makes your imbuement like infinite. Like if you stay in one place, which is what I was doing, so you can deal like big damage. And uh, this one is really, really critical too. Critical strike with core skill increase your attack speed by twenty four percent for five seconds. This is really good. Whenever you proc your inner sight. You can basically just spam your core spell, basically twisting blade, so much faster. So this is really, really good if you want to use some sort of inner side build. This is, this is just makes you output like a lot more damage. Okay, I just want to briefly talk about the skill too, just a little bit. Puncture, uh, it's basically it's a best uh, basic skill for rogue. Uh, it can it just basically makes you applying vulnerable a little bit easier, uh, twisting blade. My main damage abilities for like passive, we have like a uh, close damage reduction and uh, life steal. For shadow staff, this is pretty important because this shadow staff, if you have this passive, it can stun enemy for two seconds. But if you are against a boss, it will increase the um, uh, the, the stagger meters. I basically use this, and it also increase your critical chance, which is not really that much, but like. It can definitely stun boss if you do this like enough time. And uh, I have this. This is basically like whenever I try to PvP, I use this. But like, you better just allocate the point somewhere else. But for the concealment, I think concealment is super strong. I think everybody should consider this spell because how look at how much like benefit it gives you. So it basically makes you your enemy vulnerable for six seconds or it can basically guarantee your next skill to be critical strike um if you have this passive it will generate nine percent of your health probably more than that if you have like health receive bonus and stuff uh and uh, it makes you run faster it makes you unstoppable this is more for like pvp but let's just summarize what this skill even does it basically makes you run faster, it makes you unstoppable, it makes you regenerate energy, it makes you regenerate health, it makes you your next attack guarantee vulnerable or guarantee crit. And it basically just makes you untargetable in PvP situations. So obviously poison imbuement. Um I like this because I felt like you you get more value out of this compared to this. And uh, you basically just more deal more damage and make the enemy deal less damage. Um, Shadow clone for this is basically just sustain and this is basically more sustain. Use your ultimate uh, give you some energy back and uh, well this is pretty useless too. Like you don't have to use this, but like for the um, for the key 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 passive I use the momentum. Uh, it just basically give you damage reduction, increase energy and movement speed. It's, it's pretty good, like it's a pretty safe pick to use. And uh, for the Paragon, I doesn't really go a lot into it. Um, I basically just have this more damage. Uh, Castro scale, like including like twisting blade and shadow stab. Super simple. I doesn't even go a lot of deep into the paragon. So um, yeah, that just my build. Like I said, I don't really recommend you to run this, but I just explain what what I'm doing. So yeah, I think that's about it.